Hello friends, I welcome you to my new video. So today we are going to unwrap the Steam Funk revolver that we had created previously. In this video we will unwrap this revolver and in the next video we will start texturing it. If you want me to bring more and more high quality 3D game asset tutorial series every week and if you want to support my channel then please watch my videos from beginning to end so that this channel can grow further. Let's continue with this video friends. So first of all we have to go to shading to apply a material to the revolver. From here you can go to the shading. Select any piece from the revolver and in this piece we will apply a new material. As you can see that this material is applied to this selected piece. Now press A to select all the pieces in the revolver. Press Ctrl L. Now we will link this material that we applied to the cylinder part of the revolver to all the other pieces. Now this material is applied to all the pieces of the revolver. Now we here press Shift A and search for image texture and select it. We will now click on new and change its width and height value to 2048 and in generated type option select UV grid. Press OK to confirm the settings. Now connect color to base color. So this UV grid material is applied to our revolver. This material is looking weird because the revolver is not unwrapped yet. So let's unwrap the revolver and make it ready for the next video. For this we have to go to UV editing. So here in 3D viewport we are going to add seams to our model and unwrap it. And here in 2D layout we can see the UVs of our model. We will activate UV sync selection from here so that both layout will be synced. One more important option we have to activate and that is live unwrap option. So let's select the cylinder first. Press tab to go to edit mode. So now we are going to unwrap it. Press 2 to go to edge selection mode. Press alt and shift and select this edge loop. Press U and mark seam. Orange line indicates that the new seams are generated on both sides of the cylinder. As you can see on the 2D layout that it cut the cylinder in two pieces. Now we will select this edge. Hold down control and select this edge. Press U and mark seam. So the middle portion is properly unwrapped. If you want to see the UV grid material in the 3D viewport now, press Z and select material preview. You can see that the middle part is perfectly unwrapped but the side portion are yet to unwrap properly. We will go back to solid view. We will cut the inner cylindrical portion from the side portions. Press Alt and Shift and select all the edge loops one by one. We selected all the edge loops that we need to cut the inner portion from both sides of the cylinder. Press U and select Mark Seam. So this portion and this portion is separated from the inner portion. To see the UVs go to material preview mode. So this portion is separated from this portion. Now we have to unwrap the inner cylindrical portion. For this we will add seams to them. To unwrap the inner portions let's hide the other portions. Press 3 to go to face selection mode. Press L and then H to hide the portion. Now we can easily unwrap the inner portion. Press 2 to go to a selection mode and press shift and select all the edges one by one. Now press U and select mark seam. Press Z to go to material preview. You can see that how quickly it unwrapped the inner portion. Press alt S to unhide all the portion of the cylinder. So first piece of our revolver is perfectly unwrapped. To deactivate the checkers visibility on 2D layout, you can hide it from here. Press A to select all the UVs and go to UV. 
select average island scale and once again pack islands so now you can see that how quickly and nicely we unwrap this part so friends with the same technique we will unwrap the other pieces of the revolver let's unwrap all the pieces quickly